if the modulus of z plus 3 plus 4i is equal to 4, sketch the locus of z on an argand diagram and find the Cartesian equation which represents this locus. Sometimes it's easier rather than trying to sketch it uh, to find the Cartesian equation first. So let's just have a look to see how to do that. So we've got the modulus of z plus 3 plus 4i is equal to 4. Z can be represented by x plus i y. This is sort of the general format of a complex number. So if we replace z with x plus i y, we still have plus 3 plus 4i is equal to 4. Next step is to group together the real and the imaginary parts. So the real bit is going to be x plus 3. The imaginary part will be y plus 4 times i, and that still be equal to 4. Now, if we want to find the modulus of a complex number, we take the, x, the real bit and the imaginary bit and apply Pythagoras to it. So it's x squared plus y squared, and then take the square root. But instead of taking the square root, let's square the 4, then we won't have to take the square root. So this will become x plus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 4 squared, or 16. Now you will recognise this is the equation of a circle with centre minus 3 minus 4 and radius 4. So it's now very easy to represent that on an Argand diagram. So you've got real z, imaginary z. Uh, point where we centre will be z is minus 3 minus 4. So it's minus 3 minus 4, that would be that point there. So it's minus 3 minus 4i. And then there will be a circle with radius 4 units. And if we count the Cartesian equation that represents it is x plus 3 all squared plus y plus 4 all squared is equal to 4 squared. Now I have an applet which will represent this. And you can do other, other uh, values as z. You can move z around. And I will put the uh, GeoGebra applet in the notes of the video. So here we have our applet. Here we have our, our value here. And we can see the one given in the question. But you can see if I move 3... Move uh, if I move uh, these, I can find other values and it will give me the oh, well, let's take some nice values. Oh, well, let's just take five, okay? And then you can see here it gives you the complex uh, thing that and this is the loci that represents that. We can also change the radius on this applet as well. Okay, so the the applet I will put in the notes of the video. So there's been a video to show you how to find the Cartesian equation for the given loci. I hope you understood. And I thank you very much for watching.